Caleb. I know you hate it when people pry, no, but... don't. Uh, don't. And you said you saw Sonia lying there. Who is she? Was there another fire? Did you lose someone? <laughs> it's a good thing you don't like to pry. I'm just curious, that's all. Why? I don't know, maybe I just care about you. You saved my daughter's life. She's the one you should thank. Dad. Hey. Mom. Hi. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. How's Miranda? We ran some blood, did an oxygen panel, no permanent damage. All right, I need you to bring in a pediatric pulmonologist, just to be sure. All right, I'll page him. So, you were at Wildwind? It's a long story, but yeah, I was there. And your mother did what she does best. Of course she did. Angie, Caleb told me how great you were with Miranda. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Oh, sweetie, you're welcome. Listen, I'm just glad that she's okay. I'm gonna go back in with her now. Of course. Well, you can see. For now. You're amazing back there. Well, I was terrified back there. I never would have known it. Caleb, you know, not many people are aware of my handicap. Your handicap? You miss no leg? You know what I mean. I'm just glad that I could follow your instructions, Doc. My friends call me Angie. I understand you've expressed interest in being the new DA. <laughs> yeah, well, apparently a lot of people have. Yeah, but not everyone's approached Mayor Blanco for the temporary appointment. How'd you know that? Iris and I are old friends. How old? A few years ago, I saved her daughter's life on the operating table. Uh huh. So you have a favor? I think I can safely say, with a word from me, you will be the new DA. And you would be doing this out of the kindness of your own heart, I'm sure. I think you would be one hell of a district attorney. Oh, please, you don't give a damn what kind of DA I would make unless somehow you would benefit uh, from uh, it. Isaac, just look at this as an opportunity. You get the job you've always wanted, and I get a friendly DA. Just in case. Just in case what? Oh, David, what are you up to now? about you again oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i had to stop and get a key made a key yeah kind of a long story mm -hmm. and i'm not supposed to ask you about it right the less that you are involved the better well how is greenley she's good everything is is, is good that sounds good yeah and david i don't think we're gonna have to worry about david anymore Really? Especially after tomorrow. I'm serious. No more David in our lives. Okay, but... Uh, well, you're not gonna do anything... foolish, are you? To David, I mean. Not that I wouldn't want to, but no, I'm not. No, he's taking care of this all by himself. So, we can all go have a good time at this party, then? Yes, and I'm gonna wear my cufflinks. Guaranteed to bring you good luck. What are you talking about? They already have. I have. David? David, I'm home.
Frankie's in there with Miranda right now. Mm -hmm. When he's finished, if you want to go see her, you can. Yeah, in a little while. Well, whenever you're ready. Caleb, if you ever feel like talking... I don't. Well, if you do, I'm here. I'm so glad you've come into our lives. All right, looks like I better get back to the station. All right, sweetie, go ahead. I'll drop you home first. Jesse, I'll be okay. Angela. Listen, if I need it, I'll call a cab, okay? But Baby, you can't keep building me up and telling me that I can do anything and worry about me getting home. You're right. You're right. All right, in that case, I will expect a hot meal on the table and I, an even hotter woman to greet me at the door. Well, maybe Halle Berry will stop by. Angela Hubbard and Halle Berry. Ooh. <laughs> There's a concept. Funny. You know what's really funny? I started out this day thinking that I had to do exactly what David wanted me to. Resign as chief of staff, stop practicing medicine. But, but I think I might have a future in this business after all. Uh, once I can get David out of the way. Mm. Glass of wine, maybe, or, or or champagne, some diamonds, or the Congressional Medal of Honor. Oh, you had me at diamonds. <laughs> Although Congressional Medal of Honor, that sounds interesting. Oh, you deserve it. You do for going so far above and beyond the call of duty, which is pretty much what I've been putting you through the last couple of weeks. It's almost over, though. And I so wish that I could believe that. You can. It's true. Well, you know, in a weird kind of way, I'm actually glad that all of this has happened. In a weird kind of way? Yes. No, really. And you've shown me what kind of a man you are. The kind of man that any woman would want in her life. You wait and see, you're gonna get so sick of me hanging around all the time? Somehow you hanging around all the time sounds kind of good. Nice change. After tomorrow night at the party, everything is gonna change. I love this time of year, walking through the park. It gave me a chance to really think about things. That's excellent. I'm really happy to hear it. Are you feeling okay, David? Yeah, yeah, never better. I was just a little worried about you, that's all. Yeah, I must have been off the rails a little while ago. Must have been that dream. Mm. When you needed me to save you. Right. Yeah, I just realized that I've just been dwelling so much in the negative, and I've, I've stopped enjoying my life. Like tomorrow night, for example. I can't wait to go to that party with you. <laughs> you can't imagine how happy I am to hear that. I think it'll be a real turning point for us. <laughs> That's so funny that you would say that. 
Because out while you were out walking, I was thinking the exact same thing. That's great. Yeah. It's feeling more and more like it used to be. Maybe even better, Greenlee. I have such wonderful plans for us. 